Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 93 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. Yes, and today we're down in the super secret underground base <laughs> in which I am trying to move into slowly. Uh, but I'm down here at the reactor that is powering two turbines, patiently waiting for my cyanide to build up <laughs> so I can make a third one. <laughs> uh, but today, today we're not working on that. No. <laughs> Uh-oh, I, I lost my page. Uh, <laughs> today we're working on some new, new pneumatic craft stuff. Um, yeah, I, I moved the, the setup from <laughs> from the inside the compact machine I just felt like there wasn't enough room for me to expand in there I need more room uh, so I got this all set up uh, got my crude oil going it's not going very fast but it is 188 and I, and I put the chest down below <laughs> And, and I replaced this guy with, this is like the, I don't know why that's, there. I would just like that, but okay. Um, yeah, this is the pneumatic craft tube. It's in that label. Anyway, uh, I want to get on with this process. Now we got crude oil set up yesterday we got a steady supply coming in uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore so uh, we need to move on and do something with this uh, LPG stuff here and I believe this is diesel in the bottom <laughs> yeah you can barely see it it's it's diesel oh. <laughs> I think can I yeah there we go you can click on the tank there's the diesel I was just reading in the book how you take LPG and one piece of coal to make a thousand millibuckets of plastic that's what we need we need some plastic it requires no heat or, or requires heat but no pressure so I guess this could be a lot smaller. A thousand millibuckets of diesel and one piece of redstone makes a thousand millibuckets of lubricant. Again, this requires heat, but no pressure. So we also need this lubricant. Uh, we need the plastic and the lubricant so we can make plastic sheets and speed up, right? Wait a minute, lubricant. Yeah, it's used for crafting speed upgrades. I guess you need the upgrade matrix. Oh, you have to, it requires a bucket. A bucket in there. Okay, I see. I was like, why wouldn't you just use lapis? Uh, so, but that's what we need uh, the, the lubricant for. Uh, but the, <laughs> the plastic, oh. Um, this little stick. Um, you have to actually place this in the world or inside of a a heat a heat frame. Oh, oh, I get get it. I get the whole process now. So instead of trying to place this stuff into the world, I take uh, my bucket and I throw it down here. <clears throat> and then it will cool off and produce some stuff. I got it. I got it. Okay, so this probably doesn't need to go down there since it needs a heat source. Uh, but what 
kind of heat source can we use on this guy? Um, Okay, so this is how you make the thermo pneumatic processing point. I already went over into my system and let's see. And I added recipe for the thermo pneumatic processing plant. And I got the achievement when I made it. Uh what well, let's see, what's it called? Uh Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> the thermo pneumatic processing plant. It's uh, called a TPP. Um, and, and I added the recipe for a liquid compressor. So once I can start um, utilizing these two things, well, actually, I could probably take uh, some of this kerosene or gasoline and and run this liquid compressor off of it uh, because it tells you the available fuels right here and gasoline is one of them and it's got a 0.15 burn rate um i don't know what these numbers mean so it takes 1500 Meters. Um, so that's odd. Do you have to take take into that that into account when you're choosing a fuel? How much millibuckets it takes? Uh, it's like these are 0.25. Just refer to me. Well, I have different different numbers here because that skews the whole thing. If this takes more, uh, but anyway, we need. Do I need to do a setup like this with a vortex tube underneath it? Because I got plenty of vortex tubes. Let me tell you. <laughs> also, I'm probably gonna need another one of these guys. So we need. There we go. I love it so fast. Um, Yeah, I just don't know. So I have a couple of more heat sinks too. So let's do this. Um, boop, boop, and put you yeah. Boop. And a boot. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, just so I could like get these guys on there pretty easily. Oh, it did the same thing. Uh, okay, so I gotta turn it. It's no big deal. There we go. All right. Oh, I don't want that in there. So I don't need all of those guys. Oops. Oh, why? Why, 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 why? <sighs> got it. I got it. <laughs> Like I did the other one, you can figure I can do that. Okay, so actually, since that doesn't require pressure, oh, it does require pressure. I thought it said it requires heat, but no pressure. You lied to me. You lied to me. 
Oh, maybe it's for a certain process. Because some processes require pressure, it has the, the, or the option to, <laughs> to apply pressure. So, how's the temperature? Is this working? Oh, I have to supply pressure to this now. I wonder if I could just hook this into this system. It's back, it's back. I need to go back one more. Not bad. Maybe I should spread these further apart. I don't know. Um, I have been reading the book so that I'm not just, you know, around, but still, this is like, why won't you change, buddy? There we go. I have been reading to try and figure this stuff out. Oh, dude. Why do you not want to go? I had to block it. Okay, so now I think... Ah, oh, dude, I need to be... You could be up one more too now. Just so it will be in line with the other ones. So I don't have to. Do the stuff and things. you again. Now I should be able to place those fine. Man, it just does not want to place on the right side. All right. Now I think it's good. Should be able to Put this on there. Where? Oh, I put my pipes. I need to quit putting my pipes in there. All right, so we should be able to now get these guys connected up over here. Like, I'm gonna probably drop the system a little bit. Yeah, down to three. Uh, but this is heating up. Check it out. It's like 200 now. Uh, so now that we have temperature, we can start putting our LPG in here. Um, And then that gets us... Let's do... Uh, we use this into the thermal pneumatic processing plant. We'll get molten plastic. Uh -oh. So that's that's what we want. Uh, I was hoping that it wouldn't have to be coal, that it could be charcoal. But I'm definitely going to double check that. But I'm pretty sure it would list charcoal in there too, if it could. Uh, so get some charcoal just for testing purposes and some coal. I do have quite a bit of coal, but I have infinite amounts of, <laughs> of charcoal. 
I just have to make it. Um, all right, so let's see. Can you put charcoal? You can. Um, I guess I need a pipe too. Mechanical pipe for you. And one for you. So we do this. Um, I guess I'm also going to need an output. Can I just put it on top and get it out? Let's see. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this one. Let's do two. Can you upgrade these? You can make an etching tank. A medium fluid tank. Nice. Yes, you can upgrade them. Oh, you can make sourdough. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I'm hoping this, since this is pneumatic craft, it might just output it into the chest. It probably won't, but you never know until you drop, right? So let's get this guy here and give him a little. Aha! Oh, look at that. Fantabulous. Um, now, what are you doing? It's empty because <laughs> it's got charcoal in there. I'm certain. So, put the coal in and there we go. So, it will not take charcoal. Um, warnings. Three of six block bases are exposed to the air. Uh, so yeah, I can also deal with that. Where are my lights? So I can put you there, put you there, put you there. Um, yeah, maybe I'll keep those on you. So how, how are you doing now, buddy? Problems. Output blocked. Remove items and fluids. Okay, so it won't automatically go here. Uh, so I'm going to need... I probably should have that apart one more. Yeah, I don't really have this one set up, so I think... Want to move it one further away? <laughs> but as soon as I pop that off, it's gonna gush. So I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Right, so let's give it another space. Ah. There we go. That way I can have the other side come out. Here, have to pop this thermal wagging off. But we can put it on the top instead. Uh, so let's get this one set up. Uh, doo -doo -doo, mechanical pipe. Just one of you. And, uh, See a small fluid tank. Um, what I want to do though is I also I want to place these other pipes on this one down so that I can disconnect them. 
like this. There. I should not connect. And I should boop you. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Okay. We're getting the plastic. And I, yeah, I need to spin you around. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so did I get the tank for this? Okay, so I should be able to pop you off, place you on here. Uh, get you as an output. Uh, oh, this one needs redstone. So I wonder where we're going to find some redstone. Um, redstone. Problems. Apply more heat by... Oh. oh, that's right. So we need to hook the pressure back up. There we go. Right, am I right? Oh, and we need to output this guy. There we go. Now we're getting lubricant. <laughs> we got lubricant and we got plastic. Now we can pop this guy off and pop him in here and since this is cold this will I guess solidify that plastic into sheets and we need another tank I guess to put over here oh no I don't know how to make iron bars well, we have to fix that real quick. <laughs> uh, no, we need tank over here. A small fluid tank. Yes. We want this. Ah, no, go down. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so now we can make our tank and get it up there. Boop, and oh, wow, that one's almost full too. Oh man, this is great. Uh, how about this? Is this producing plastic? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe that's not cold enough. Uh, the pressure did drop, so yeah, it's down to 1.5. Maybe it wasn't wise to put this on the same system. Uh, this is probably where um, this will come in handy. I wonder how much... Ah, this tab is ordered from best to worst fuel where multipliers are shown. This means the fuels fuel burns more quickly or slowly than the baseline. Uh, 
generating air faster, but also getting used up faster. Ah, oh, so that's how fast it burns up. So probably want something that doesn't burn as fast. Um, like the kerosene does just has a one times so and diesel and biodiesel has 0.8 burn rate. Hmm. But the diesel I'm turning into lubricant. Oh, I need to put you back on, buddy. Or let's just get another tank. Put there. There we go. Oh, and to go up here so that. That doesn't get backed up. Four hundred twenty-two. Oh, I ran out of coal already. Let's fix that. Um, I don't have a way to fix it up to my system down here because I'm so far away. Oh, this is full too. Uh, wow, look at it go. Mm hmm. Mm. It's getting colder. It's slowly building pressure back up. Probably going to take it a while. I may need more, more pressure than these guys will put out. Uh, but I'm working on it, man. <laughs> I can only progress so fast. Um, So, this um, turns 100 millibuckets into 1,000 millibuckets. So, I should be able to get uh, seven more things or six more things out of this. Oh man, and it filled another one. There we go. Whack. Jeez Louise. Look at all that stuff. Look at all the stuff. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, we made progress. We got plastic and we have some lubricant. We can do the stuff and things now. This is good. <laughs> and this may not be perfect, but it's working. <laughs> it's working. Uh, um, I saw like Jake's, I think he had some setups that were just like a block underneath like some glowstone is that a thing <laughs> is that where this comes in where you don't need pressure to the system to this system uh so you can just place a raw heat source underneath i don't know let's check it out um 
Let's do like a bit of glowstone and another plant. Let's do this. What are you looking at? Got a temperature of 32 degrees. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. It's at nighttime. Also, I added in um, some some half levels here above where like the uh, turbines are gonna go just so i'm not wasting this this whole area up here I figure i got tons of room oh no oh no i left it i left it running no it destroyed my valve Um, at least it didn't destroy everything. I was, I completely forgot I had it on. Uh, so these guys are going to burn until... I don't have a way to control this yet other than just to turn it off and on. But now that I have the lubricant, um, I can possibly make some modules and stuff. The lubricant and the plastic. And I can get stuff and things i don't know if this is working right i thought he said to use a small pneumatic craft fluid tank and you put fill it up and put it in there maybe i'm doing the wrong one maybe it's supposed to be uh, this this guy the small uh the one that has the lpg in it I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I will do some tinkering and uh, experimenting. Yeah, it's only at 32. I think you have to have a temperature of 100 before it can do stuff. Um, okay. Too cool down to, to oh wait. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to this machine. Think of a vortex tube, fast but sparks power, but also lava, fast but more solidifies and torches very slow. Heat sinks are cold blocks such as uh Oh, maybe if I uh, also put some thermal lagging on it, that might help too. I don't know. Um, there, there's also blazing I don't know I think it was a block of blades like this blaze mesh maybe maybe that was what it was because this doesn't look like it's changed Oh, look at that. Look at the temperature go. Oh, so it's a thing. Wow. Wow. 
250. Oh, wow. I don't need this then. Because this, oh, it, it did get it all the way up to 421. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so I don't, since this doesn't need pressure to the system, I can just uh, disconnect that and, and put these blaze mesh under there. Cool. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.